I tell people that I feel like I've been in the phantom zone, you know, waiting to be released. I'm like just floating in the phantom zone. But here we are, the beginning of me outside of the phantom zone. <laughs> I've always had had this thing in my chest that has, it's like a light of beam that has directed me one way, no matter what anybody is saying. After all of the adversities and, and all of the jobs and hostessing and catering and being so broke, being an extra, like there was at one point where I really needed like fast cash and, and they do this thing where you can, you can be like a standing extra. I was doing that for a minute because I needed, I needed fast, I needed to eat. It's just so crazy to, to, to go from from that to to a moment where somebody's like, "Hey, here's your dream job," and you're like, "Oh, oh wow, oh wow!" I kind of gave myself a hug and I was like, "Thank you, Sasha, for believing in yourself, um, no matter what anyone said, and, and continuing." It's not Clark. My name is Kara. I will help you. People are like, well, Latinas don't aren't on the big screen as superheroes, so so why would you do that, right? It's that idea of like why representation matters, right? Like when I saw Gal Gadot and Wonder Woman, I was like, she's a woman, she's on the big screen, she's a, a tough, beautiful superhero. I can do that as well. She gave me that, right? And I think just being here and existing, it's it's an honor and a, a joy. But that's my hope, right? Is that people can can who relate to me or see themselves in me that they can be like we belong there as well and those dreams are definitely achievable and 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 I say dreams exist for a reason you know dreams exist so that we can live them being a superhero is, is tough right like being in the suit is exhausting they're very tight constricting suits that are beautiful and glorious and and when you're in them it's it's a, it's a shock to the system of, of pride and joy um but like when i needed to pee i had to take the whole suit off <laughs> and i love water i drink water all the time and i had to really restrict myself from drinking water sometimes because you have you know these really long days you have to you know the pee break i got very good at it at the end i was like unzipping peeing and zipping all the way back up. I wanted to do the stunts. I wanted to learn the choreo. I wanted to feel exhausted. I, I wanted it to feel real. And I was also super lucky that the second unit was so collaborative with me and really allowed me to look at my shots and see if my, my punches were good, if I felt like it was authentic, that the feelings was there when I was moving. Love my stunt team as well. They carry them also in my heart. I love them very much. Henry Cavill, man, like him, our man of steel, right? I met him actually after the movie was done. Months later, um, I gave him a big hug. He is is kind and very proper. And um, it, was a, it, was a, it was a great experience. Like I, I asked him, I was like, you know, did I, did I make you proud? Did, did, and I was like, you know, cuz I was like, did I make you proud? You know, did, did suit, does Superman approve? And he was like, absolutely. You did a phenomenal job. And I think to me, that meant the world. Are you ready? Ready. Let's go. I advise people to go into a comic book store and have fun. Just go and open a comic, go in there and spend hours sitting on the floor and reading and um, buy th new things and enjoy it. When I see a comic book store, I just immediately walk in and I'm like, where's the Supergirl stuff? I hope to continue playing Supergirl. I love her deeply. <laughs>